It set a golden standard in British sport and it delivered success on an unprecedented scale. But there was something rotten in the state of British cycling. An independent report, excerpts of which have been published in the Daily Mail, has found that the organisation based here in the Manchester Velodrome had a culture of fear and a dysfunctional leadership. The report was commissioned last year after several former riders complained about their treatment. Olympian Jess Varnish said she was subjected to sexist remarks and that the technical director Shane Sutton routinely referred to female athletes using an insulting term. In front of a parliamentary committee in December, he denied those claims. And I've never ever, you know, gone up to a woman and, and directly called her that. But the inquiry heard plenty of evidence of an atmosphere in which questioning management decisions was a bad career move. There were certain individuals at the very top of the performance pathway who I think were a little bit untouchable um, and other staff I think ran a little bit scared of that. I certainly think that people were always worried about their jobs and the security of their jobs if they said anything that wasn't popular. British Cycling admitted today that it had focused too much on performance and hadn't paid enough care and attention to what it calls athlete culture. But it's also being investigated by the anti-doping authorities. Last week, Parliament was told that the team kept no record of what medical treatments team members were using. What they call the medal factory up in Manchester is still working, but its working practices have never been under greater scrutiny. Geraint Vincent, ITV News.